What happens when you play Skyrim with too many mods? Does it destroy the game? Break the balance? Does it perhaps damage Todd's original divine vision for the game? No, it creates an entirely unique and wonderful experience. And today, we're about to discover that experience and that overwhelming joy and mystery of playing Skyrim again for the first time. Because what's happening today is that I've asked my admin to collect a whole multitude of absolute weird and wild mods and install them onto my PC for me. Now that they're all installed, I'm going to play the game and try and work out just what on earth has happened to it. We're going to be making friends along the way and most importantly we're going to be having nightmarish visions thanks to all of the things we're going to be experiencing. This is going to be one hell of a video. Jesus Christ! Sorry. No. No, Todd. This wasn't in the original vision, Todd. Todd, please. What the hell is that cursed music? Okay. We're not, we're not staying on the main menu. We're making a new game. Sorry, is that a hit marker sound? Is that? That's a hit marker. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Right, let's start a new game. A new game. Okay, the music stopped. The music can't follow us into the game. That's just the main menu theme. I'm sure from this point on everything else will be okay. Cheat room's been installed. Okay, that's always a nice sign. The hit markers are staying. Okay, you know, this is normal. I recognize this. Okay, this is Skyrim. The UI looks a little bit different, I'm noticing. What is this? A Yugnord? Uh, there's... The Yugnords aren't in the base game. What is it? Oh my god. He's an abomination. He's so smooth. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> He's horrible. What's unfortunate Khajiit? Oh, dear. Oh, no. What are these abominations? What is- is that the Reddit thing? That's the Reddit thing. Jesus Christ. It's Sandic the Hedgehog. It's just the Skyrim hold guard. Okay. Uh, this is a bear. I, okay. And then finally a dog. Right. This, um, this wasn't in Todd Howard's original vision. Well, if this is the case, you know, I think we, we play as Sandic. We go for the uh, crossover episode. Um, he's naturally, of course, every race has their own special abilities. His uh, special ability is that he goes fast, uh, but also his racial disability is that he has to go fast. Okay, I'm interested by what it is to play a Sanic. I am slightly concerned by the fact that we have a head size slider here. Oh my god, we can make his head tiny. Or gigantic. I think we go tiny head Sonic. His height? He could be tiny. I mean, this is probably more realistic to hedgehog size. I think we go for a slightly smaller than normal character. Alright, send this into Game Theory. New Sanic law discovered. Eye shape? I mean, surely there's only one one eye shape. It's Sanic. Eye color. Okay. Red eyes or... <laughs> he doesn't have any eyes. He doesn't need eyes. Not where he's going. Oh my god. Well, um, we've created an abomination. Apparently we can give it hair. Apparently he's normally meant to have no hair, but oh my god, we can give him my little pony haircuts. We can give an amazing mohawk. Can we saturate that into a blazing red? Yes, we can. Look at him. Well, I think we've created a nightmare of a character. Um, finish a name or character. Well, this is going to be a okay character of Please End Me, or Pem for short, that's what his friends call him. Oh my god, and look at us. Look at us. We are in- Oh my Jesus Christ, my ears. Is that gonna happen every time we go forward? That gave me a literal jump scare. My heart, my heart is killing me. Okay, what happens if we retreat? Okay, running backwards doesn't make the noise, but it does turn us into a nightmare monster that snaps its own spine and head. Okay, that's fine. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm crying already. Okay, hi Hadvar, how's it going? Um, let's make our way up to Riverwood. Oh my. Is this gonna happen every time I move goddamn forwards? I literally can't. We can't spend the entire game running backwards as Sonic. That's not functionally possible. It's even if we go left and right. This guy just is is broken. He's so god Right, Pem. I'm sorry. You were our first creation, but you were not meant for this world. We are not playing as you. Oh, back to the drawing board. Pem said he finally got his wish. Well, uh, sadly this has brought us back to the main menu, where the curse adventure continues. This time with a new character as we have to work out what other mods are still loaded onto this goddamn game. Uh, now of course I don't think we're going to be playing as a Tsanic monster. I think we should go for the Dover bear. Who doesn't want to play just a gigantic bear? Oh my goodness yes this bear looks like he's about to murder you. Perfect. We give him hair? Of course we can give him hair. Oh my goodness we can give him amazing hair. Oh my god he looks amazing. Right we're going to finish and name him. This is just going to be murder bear. Ladies and gentlemen say hello to a brand new hero. The hero that the people of Skyrim need to save them from the dragons. It's Murder Bear. Oh, we just look amazing from behind. Look at this guy. Oh, yes. Wouldn't you love to be the little villager who's saved by this Murder Bear? Alright, let's go Murder Bear. Right, we've been told to go to the uh, closest town of Riverwood, which is um fine. We're a great big bear, so we can do that. Hang on a second, what is this? I got a second. Okay, I recognize this area. This is the Stones of Power, right? This, this is normal. Uh, this is 
is where you pick your, like, guardian stone. What's this chest? Search chest. Dwemo Skyship Config version 1.3? Sorry, you telling me that this is a dwarven steam-powered skyship? Oh my god, sorry. Hang on a second, Todd. Why wasn't this in the base game? Can we get on it? We can get on it. How does this work? What even is this? How is someone put this in Skyrim? This makes no sense. There's some little hunter down there sat at their camp with their tiny pathetic boat. Well, we've got the goddamn Dwemer skyship, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's see if we can give this a go. Okay, that's forwards. This is backwards. Okay, now we're rotating. Okay, sorry, Hadva. You use your goddamn legs. I've got a goddamn reversing mega boat of some kind. It's a little bit funky, but I think it functions. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a flying boat. Oh my god. This is beautiful. This is exactly what Skyrim needed. A flying boat. I'm just gonna ignore the tutorial town. We don't need to go to Riverwood. We don't even need to go fight dragons. What are dragons gonna do other than, you know, set on fire this flimsy wooden piece of flying technology? Oh my goodness, this is actually beautiful. Todd, are you not proud of this? Are you not proud of what the glorious people have done with your video game? No, we're just gonna fly it straight over to the keep and land inside the city. Okay, how do I park this thing? Most importantly, how do I go down? Okay, shift is up, control is down. Let's just go park my goddamn mega boat in front of the Yarl's Palace. Okay, we've dismounted the ship finally. Um, we've parked it in a bit of an odd spot. I mean, we're kind of blocking the entry to the Yarl's Palace. Oh, there's water here. Perfect. Did I just die? I just died. Uh, it turns out giant floating boat. Pretty dangerous. Day two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's day two of recording. I'm back. Um, of course, the game kind of crashed a lot last time, so we're gonna give it another go, except this time I've got uh, a nice bit of some refreshing beverage. Uh, Daddy Smith's drinking grown-up beverages now to um, get him through this hellscape of a game. All right, anyway, um, we're back in. We're Dover Bear the Murder Bear again, and we are back looking amazing. This time, I don't think we're going to um, take the giant flying vehicle because Dismounting the giant flying vehicle just murdered me last time, so I'm um, probably gonna skip the floating vehicle of death and instead just use our bare legs. Oh look, a chest. And is this some kind of hunter? Hello there. Well, you've got armor and I don't have armor, which is an issue. So um, I'm just gonna go crouch on over here until you don't see me anymore. And it's time for Murder Bear to murder his first victim. Just for some, you know, basic clothes. Go Murder Bear. Yes, good job Murder Bear. There you go, you can't hit me. Get wrecked, my friend. And and murdered. Murdered. Oh, right, next time. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, Murder Bear. Good lord. There's a lot of blood I'm noticing, Murder Bear. You've really created a bit of a mess. Um, well, let's try and get some of these non-bloody clothes off of them. Oh, and now we look so much better. Oh my goodness, look at Murder Bear with his gigantic arrows of death. Murder Bear looks amazing. Right, let's go, Murder Bear. I absolutely love- okay, Murder Bear is quickly becoming one of my favorite characters. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've made our way all the way way over to Riverwood and it looks, you know, pretty normal. This is good. Yep, I'm not seeing anything too concerning here. Oh, I am seeing that there's apparently poop on the floor. I don't remember this being in the base game of Skyrim. What is this? It has unknown properties. Okay, let's eat it. Damage health discovered. Okay, great. Who knew eating turds would damage your health? Well, honestly, Riverwood's looking pretty normal. So I think it's time we move on to Helgen where we continue the main line of the quest to uh, go find the Jarl. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, what, what the hell is this? No, <laughs> no, please, this can't be real. Please tell me this isn't real. Oh God, okay, um, I guess, which, which one do I take then? Maybe I take the tiny macho man Randy Savage here. Right, there we go, we're taking the uh, tiny macho man. I'm noticing he's not very fast, so he's not gonna make for the best companion. Oh my God, he is the slowest companion in the goddamn universe. He can't even climb a slope. Okay, right, we're dismissed missing you and getting one of the ponies. It's time for us to part ways. <laughs> He doesn't seem very happy. All right, uh, let's get the one here that appears to be on fire. All right, there we go. We got the uh, we got the pony that shoots lightning and is much much faster. There we go, perfect. Oh, here we go, wolves. Right, pony, kill the wolf. Oh my goodness, you electrocuted the living hell out of it. Okay, you're not half bad. I guess it's just a murder bear and a murder pony going on a magical adventure, trying to find friends in this world which is full of nightmare monsters. Well, naturally, the most important thing to do for us is to go pick up the power stone over there that allows 
allows us to raise the dead because that's the most goddamn powerful thing in this game. But at the same time, there was one thing that I was told to do, and that was to pull this lever behind the hunting brew meadery. Uh, enable your fat idiot son. I don't know who my fat idiot son is, but Rufus has been unleashed upon your world. Who's Rufus? But apparently Rufus has been unleashed on this world. But I don't know whether to be afraid, concerned, or just panicking, really. Oh dear, there's a wolf. Right, let's kill the wolf. There we go, the wolf is dead. Who are you, mysterious woman? Here, this is for you. What, who are you, and what's this about? <laughs> so you have my stupid son? My son Rufus? Damn it, I thought that little shit was with his mother. Who's Rufus? Goodbye, mysterious uh, woman. Um, let's read this mysterious note. Where's my son? Murder bear. I tell my servants, bring tasty children, but to my disgust, they bring your horrible fat child. I do not want this fat child. My servants disappoint. Now the child will not leave, only plays with doll, makes servants uncomfortable with staring and rude comments. Please come remove your unwholesome child from my home. Seek my lair in the hills west of Golden Rock. Okay, so I've got to go collect my unwanted son. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. What an immersive Skyrim experience. Oh, these some bandits. Oh yes, we got some bandits. Right, murder pony. Murder them. Oh my god, murder pony, you are so goddamn powerful. Oh, we got a steel battle axe. Oh, this is going to be so much more fun. A great big giant steel battle axe. How big is it? Oh my god, it's massive. Oh yes, murder bear is here to bring the murder. Hello there, Wolfie. It's murder bear time. Swing and pony, can you stop murdering everything? Dear lord. All right, now I know there's an evil guy at the top of this kind of podium with the incredible stone of power. So I'm going to get murder pony just to wait here five seconds. So there should be a necromancer up here raising the dead. Yep, there he is. Right, swing and... Oh, murder bear, yes! You go, murder bear. Oh, no, that was fantastic. I'm big concerned as to why this skeleton's just standing here. You have an ancient Nord battle axe. That one looks even more powerful. But anyway, we want to activate the ritual stone here because this is going to give us the ability to raise the dead once a day. And yes, it's ridiculously powerful. Anyway, let's go pick up our stupid dumb son. Find my son, there we go. Let's go find Rufus, and then we'll talk to the Yarl of Whiterun. Okay, Rufus is apparently up in the caves in the mountains here, so um, gotta go climb a hill and find our unwanted child. Oh, here we go. Here's the cave of our stupid useless son. Right, which is lair discovered? So they're, they're keeping Rufus in here? Is he in, like, a cage or something? Oh my goodness, what is this place? <laughs> it's got some kind of sword of hotum in here? What is this place? Is it just filled with why is it just filled with scantily clad witches? Oh, there is a cage. Yes, I'm here for the fat child. <laughs> you want me to take the fat child, do you? Okay, well, look, apparently this is Rufus, our fat child. Rufus, thank goodness you're Okay, I'm uh, rescuing you. Okay, apparently Rufus wants to go say goodbye to everyone in his uh, captive home. Right, Rufus, go, go say goodbye to them. It seems that quite literally everyone here hates Rufus, so um, I guess we're just going to leave. All right, Rufus, you and I, we're going to go see the world together. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, well, now I guess we just have Rufus following us around instead of the magical pony of death, which is fine. First, I spot a deer, so let's just quickly murder that. Rufus, why are you chasing the deer off into the hills? Rufus, come back. You have a wooden sword, and that is a deer with antlers that could just decapitate you in a single hit. Oh my Jesus Christ, sorry, what is that? Sorry, I was just walking along the main road with my son Rufus when I noticed a gigantic pony the same size as one of the giant military towers. Why are there ponies everywhere? I thought we already saw all of the ponies. What are these ones for? Oh my God, these ones can be ridden. Rufus, please don't judge your father, Murder Bear. <laughs> also, I don't know how Murder Bear had a human child. I think Murder Bear has been scammed somewhere along the way. I just mostly want to know what on earth this gigantic monster is. Right, can we get off the, uh, can we get off the pony? How do I get off the pony? Oh my goodness, and what are these things that are apparently attacking me over here? There's a whole bunch of enemies. What are they? Are they just wolves everywhere? Oh my god, the giant pony is fighting them. Oh my god, the giant pony is absolutely decimating them. You know, maybe if I just stand still, the pony that I'm on will die. You know, I'm just gonna take this horse over to the giant camp. That should kill it. Right, here we go. Giant camp. It's got woolly mammoths and here are some giants. They don't look as big anymore because, you know, we're a gigantic murder bear. Ah, now I'm noticing one issue. Murder bear dies before the gigantic horse dies. <sighs> Right, now I don't really have enough money to buy any goods, so I think I'm gonna head over to the next location I was told to go to, which is over towards Winterhold. Wait, no, it's not Winterhold. It's it's Windhelm is where I want to go. No, I don't want to go to Winterhold. Take me to Windhelm. Off we go to Windhelm, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we go. We've made our way to Windhelm. Uh, we found the Windhelm stables. It's pitch black here. There's still ponies everywhere. <laughs> okay, I was told to walk off in this direction somewhere. I don't know what to expect, but apparently there's a new location over here. 
here. Wait, Hassan, what the heck is this? Is this a tiny goblin? Oh my goodness, the tiny goblins are beating up my son. Reekling, what on earth is a reekling? And why is it punching my child to death? Okay, right, tiny little goblins. I'm sorry, but murder bear is gonna have to murder bear you. Oh my goodness, you guys are actually quite tough. Well, thank goodness you're focused on my son instead of me. Oh my goodness, Rufus, you're doing a fantastic job of just standing in the way. Oh my god, is that the level up sound? Oh my god, my ears. My ears. Jesus Christ. My goddamn ears. That's the level up noise. I hate it. Oh my god, my ears. Right, now we do more damage. Swing, hit, swing, hit. Yes, there we go. We murdered one of the tiny goblins. Still two more to go, though. Let's hit him with a, uh, a heavy attack. Yes, and another one. Oh my god, that's a that's an ice wolf. Oh my god, this guy seems powerful in comparison to the other shite we've had to fight. Oh dear lord. Okay, we need potions. Alright, we're just gonna be eating cheese and fighting wolves. Oh my god, I'm almost dead again. Eat all of the food. Die, stone wolves. Punch the reclink. There is blood everywhere. Right, you're trying to kill my child and you keep using goddamn- <gasps> Wait, I can use the magic spell. I have the magic stone, right? The ritual stone. Yes, right. Ritual stone away. Perfect. Okay, now the ritual stone is going to raise all of the dead corpses nearby to fight for me, which means I no longer have to worry about murdering stuff. Yeah, you kill him for me. Good job, giant scary ice wolves. Well, this has certainly simplified everything. Well, we killed all the reeklings. They were goddamn terrified. I think it's time for us to move on. I mean, these wolves are going to die after 60 seconds, which is fine, but I something tells me the reekling attack is not what we're looking for. All right, so there's something down here beneath us. Got to get past all of these frosty wolves. And what on earth is this? Right, let's drop down a save because I have no idea what is going on there. There appears to be skeleton Falmore wizards. What on earth is going on here? And why are they... Okay, right, let's just kill the wizard. I leveled up again. Oh my God, it's so loud. The game, the game is got... Game, game, please. It's, it's frozen. Okay, we're back after a quick reload and um, the fight is still going on ahead of us. I have no idea who's fighting. I can see skeleton Falmore wizards and you know what? Let me see if I can get a hit in here. I might be able to get my level up in. Oh, that Falmore wizard died almost instantly. What about you? There we go. That's another one dead. Do you just send my son yeeting? I just saw my son fly off the screen. Oh my God, it's the level up noise. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, we're leveling up. We're leveling up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my ears every time we level up. I hate it. All right, and swing and hit and swing and hit. All right, one last skeleton Falmore wizard. Let's go for a heavy attack here. Right, go. Kill him. Kill him, Rufus. Kill him. Rufus, go. Oh, Rufus. No, poor Rufus. Don't kill my son. Actually, you know what? You can do if you want to. I won't mind. Right, Rufus, I saved your life. What did I just get shot at by? Sorry, what is that over there? Um, Rufus, I'm kind of concerned by what is over there. There's some kind of weird object. Oh my God, it's a tank. Oh my god. Dwarven army base discovered. Hang on a second. Oh my god, it's a working tank. Oh my good lord. It's a stug. They've got... Oh my god. Okay, this is incredible. Right, let's just get in the um, biggest tank that I can find. Oh my goodness, this thing's amazing. I mean, I absolutely love this, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing the ability to actually shoot it, so maybe there's something hidden inside these walls. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a chest. Dwarven baton. Okay, that seems like it. And a dwarven army peaked cap. <gasps> right, uh, Bear, you're putting on the amazing hat. We're getting rid of the other hat. And oh my goodness, it's Communist Murder Bear. <laughs> Let's go, Communist Murder Bear. Let's go get... Why is my tank driving off? Get right... Get in back in the tank, Communist Murder Bear. Oh my god, you look amazing. Oh my god, Skyrim is complete. <laughs> right, I have the murder baton. I don't know what the baton does. If I... S oh my god, I can swing and shoot. Oh my god, this is amazing. Right, Tanky Boy, we're going on an adventure. Full speed ahead, Tanky Boy. Oh, there's a wolf. Fire that wolf. Right, I can see a wolf is trying to murder my son there. So, tank, fire. Oh, that was a miss. Tank, aim a bit higher. Good stuff. Right, just aim and actually hit. Can we not try and murder Rufus, please? Okay, well, driving into it seemed to have worked. Right, tank away. Don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen. Just a murder bear with a panzer tank. This is perfectly normal. Nice weather, is it? <laughs> Imagine you're just a humble peasant going about your day in Skyrim and a giant communist bear riding a tank appears in front of you. It's at that point you probably would put down the skooma bottle. Honestly, this is just the ultimate Skyrim thing that I've ever seen. Just a bear in a tank. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think we naturally have to do what was intended of this game. Oh my goodness, a wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wolf, right? Get ready with a firing stick. Firing stick. Fire at the wolf. Fire at the wolf when ready. Die, wolfie. Okay, wolf is dead. Oh my goodness, mammoths. Right, tank versus mammoth. Who will win? Tank, go. Tank, you missed. Right, aim better, tank. There you go, that's a hit. That's an angry mammoth. Hit again. Come on, shoot. Shoot the mammoth. Go tank, go, 
you're perfect. Tank, aim better. Aim better. Tank, that's a bit too close. Oh my goodness. Just drive through. Drive through. Oh my god. Go, Tank, go. Don't worry. Rufus can distract them. How hard are mammoths to kill? Oh god. No, murder bear. Oh no, the tank died. Run. Jump, 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 jump. Murder bear. Get out of here. Get out of here, murder bear. Oh wait, no. Did the tank just kick me off? Where's the tank going? Where's the tank going? Uh, murder bear? I'm going to need you to go chase down that, uh, that tank because it's currently running amok and blowing things up. Well, it would seem that the tanks and the mammoths have made friends as well as the fact that the giants aren't interested in me anymore. Uh, and there's a mammoth now climbing a tree. Goodbye, mammoth. <laughs> right, honestly, at this point, I'm going to try and save that mammoth's life by shooting it down from the tree. All right, just crouch on down. Make sure we're nice and hidden. All right, let's go kill that mammoth or at least get it down from the tree. Well, that's a hit. Oh, that's increasing our sneak. Okay, the mammoth is still up in the tree. The other mammoths are making their way towards us. Rufus, fight them. Fight them, Rufus. Keep them busy. Rufus, no. Well, you know what? There's a dragon thing over there. I wonder what the dragons are. Maybe there's a live dragon there for us to see. All right, let's go see this dragon burial site up here. I'm sure it'll be fine and nice and safe and no problems at all. Worst case scenario, we send Rufus in first to, you know, scout it out. Oh, yes, it's just a word wall. Nice and easy. Oh, and some kind of rag skeleton. All right, die rag skeleton. Oh, skeleton hero. Goodbye, skeleton hero. Goodbye, final skeleton. You must die. Perfect, we've done it. All right, let's go pick up a word wall. Oh, God, it's another skeleton hero. Uh, Rufus, deal with that one for me, please. Go, Rufus. Good job. You'd show that hero. Oh, you're dead. Well, I guess it's up to both me and Rufus now. Rufus, please, can you just stand on your own two feet for once? Do I have to save you every time? Well, Murder Bear and his son, Rufus, we've had an amazing journey today, ladies and gentlemen. This has been uh, a first attempt at Skyrim with far too many mods, but also I have no idea what mods I'm playing with. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, then hey, make sure to give this video a like. Uh, because if you don't, Murder Bear's going to visit you. That's right, the first 10,000 people to like this video guarantee themselves not being visited by Murder Bear. And trust me, you don't want to be visited by Murder Bear. Now, honestly, there were still more mods for me to discover. I have no idea what else exists in this world, but this world is absolutely amazing and I love it. So if you want to see another video like this, then hey, make sure to subscribe and hop on down to the comment section with some mod suggestions. I'm going to make sure to ignore all of those and send my admin down into there to go ferry out the greatest mods. And then he can create another gigantic mod compilation for me to experience. Because if I had started out today knowing that I'd end up playing World of Tanks in Skyrim with a bear, with a gigantic battle axe of death, who crashed a gigantic flying dwarven skyship into Winterhold, whilst also collecting his distant offspring son who he hates, with the help of a giant lightning pony of death, I would have just not believed you. What an experience it's been. So hey, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and being a part of this community. And as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of our lovely patrons who make these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much, you majestic sausages. And hey, if you want to see more videos like this, then why not watch one of these videos presented here? That's right, if you enjoyed today's video, you're gonna love this next one. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, and goodbye for now.